Hey y'all, welcome. I'm um, just going to demonstrate a bloom. Um, this is my little bus tub set up here with my cake spinner in it. I only change this bad boy out, meaning like take all the paint out and clean off my spinner. Oh, once, once a month, once every two months or so. These little ramekins that you see on there are dried into place, so they do not move, which allows my paint to spill over the edge. That way I can just pick these up when I'm done, which is one of my favorite aspects about this. Sorry if we don't have our thing fully straight here. Maybe that's better. Okay. Ta-da! Okay. Um, so today I'm going to be using the new pillow uh, that I've been trying. It is the PPG Multi Pro um, that you can get at Home Depot. This is the contractor's paint that they sell. Um, I mentioned in a previous video, but I might not have even posted it yet, that PPG is the same company that owned Glidden. So this is if you have tried it yourself, you might know that it is a very similar stretchy pillow. Um, despite having let it sit, I still have a couple bubbles. Um, I'll stretch it out. So we hit the four corners. Don't know if I'm level, so just got to be mindful of that as I get my bloom going here. I very well may not be. I've made some adjustments here in the last little bit. So today what we're going down with first is a blue black um, slash panes gray. All my pouring mediums are two part infinity, one part bare, one part ooh, Josanya's gloss varnish. I did learn this technique through Shelly Art. Shelly's course is available online. I do share the link uh, below in my description. For those of you that know what this is, this is just a fun bloom redemonstration. And me just sharing my colors. Um, that second one is just a turquoise high flow acrylic by Golden. Um, next we're going to go down with Indigo Wave, TLP, and then we've got Tube Paint, which is Liquitex Cobalt Blue Hue. And then we're going to go with magenta, Matridone, or however the heck you say it. Don't ask me to say it. I always mispronounce these things. Somebody's going to correct me one of these days. Um, and then we have a velvet T.O.P. Just blue interference. Lovely little fella there. And then back to turquoise. I know this is a lot of layers. A lot of layers. Um, and like I said, I wasn't sure if I was level. So if he wants to run that direction. So Just going to be mindful of that. Okay, got everything we need in there. I'm going to just hit that for a half second with a flame just to get out all the extra bubbles. Don't, not that there's a ton, but... occasionally do it when I'm bothered by a bubble here or there. Okay, maybe a quick blowout. I will try to keep it in view.
honestly try to do the center last. Just because I had some white that wanted to be on the edges that wanted to be blown off. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to leave it be and let it come back together. These cells are kick-ass. Give her a second to come home. And then I found my straw. I was looking for it during my last bloom. It was under my shoe, stuck to it. I have several straws. It's just the one I'm working with today. But somehow I knocked it off and it got stuck under my my foot. Okay. I'm not going to mess around with that too much. It is still going to come back together and I don't want my cells to get too wobbly. Oh, so pretty. Maybe over that way, just a titch, and give me another spin. Also, when it stretches in the middle, oh yeah. Um, you don't always need to blow that white out. It'll continue to kind of like pull back together, and sometimes you get nice features with it as it pulls deeper colors in. So you may have seen other people do something similar. I'm going to just blow on a couple of these cells. Purpose is just to try to get a little bit more of that turquoise out of the way and let the colors underneath come up. You can also work on your your cell structure when you do that. So if it's a triangle, you can try to make it more circle. I don't know why I'm talking in a high voice. Oh, these colors are just bomb. Diggity. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got nothing else. That's it. She cool. Just beautiful. I'm gonna do a few more of these. Um what do I got to say about this? I don't know. Um sort of speechless right now. I'm gonna just take this one off and make another one. line here. Oh, uh, by the way, these colors that I mixed up to use today, I mixed up two weeks ago, but two days ago I added a little bit of water to them to thin them because they were getting thick. And most of them are like the perfect consistency today. I leave the same gloves on during my whole process, but I do try to wipe down some of the paint in between so I don't get it all over everything. Although you'll notice it ends up on everything anyway. Okay, same layering strategy here. Blue black, paint's gray, turquoise. Little waves. I like to use those uh, little makeup palettes that you can get for um, mixing makeup. They also sell these now at the Fluid Art Co. They're a little black with their little uh, name on them, which are 
cute, but I just haven't gotten around buying any because the ones I bought originally have held up really well, so I'm sticking to it. But when I have some more, I might get some Fluid Art Bling. Um, that was the Cobalt. Next we go with the Genta. I swipe the bottom to try to prevent drippage, but it doesn't always work. That one's a little thicker on the thick side. That's not one I used recently, so not one I added water to recently. Same with this uh, velvet. These two are a little bit on the thicker side. If I really were concerned, which I'm not because you can tell I had some beautiful cells, um, I could add a little water to those, but things are flowing really well today so I'm happy with where we're at okay putting down the white CA whoa that was a big blob of white CA oops okay it's working well you can see the halo oops I just popped a couple bubbles by doing that okay yeah, I try to keep you in here but I can't guarantee anything Letting them rest. Letting the fill come back. Got a bubble over here. Should I leave it? Nah. I don't know. Should I leave it? Yeah, that's how I deal with bubbles. I have a little pick that the dentist use. Use this rounded part here. I'm just trying to touch the paint and then stretch it over where it popped. Just want to touch it lightly. So if you're lucky, you can keep your cell structure. I goofed it up a little bit that time, but I'm not that concerned about it. Um, the other end, since it's uh, dull, you get a tiny bubble over here. I can sometimes just boop. It kind of just pulls the edges of the paint around the circle together. It's fun how it does that. Cool. Trip tips and tricks from a year and I don't know a while practice. Damn, these cells are so cool. Okay. Before they get too wonky on me. Ugh. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so shout out to some of the people I've been watching on YouTube and through Shelly's course over the last year and a bit who I really enjoy or get a kick out of or that I've learned something from is Karen from Waterfall Acrylics, uh, Jody Flynn, um, Chris Galate, Galate? I'm so sorry, Chris. I'm probably butchering your name. He's this little fellow from Germany. I'm sure you guys have all seen him recently. He just gained a whole bunch of popularity in this last six months or so. Um, he's cute as a bug's ear. And Garrick. I've been watching Garrick from afar, but if you guys pay any attention, you'll know that he recently also got some spotlight, which is really cool. Oh, so so amazing. Okay. I don't want to lose what I have going on over here, but I like don't know if I love this. But I also don't know if I'm gonna lose my center. It's a struggle, man. It's the struggle. Um, I think I can afford one more spin though. Yeah. Just don't go flying off on me, babe. I'm trying to spin it off this side, so. Thought I pushed it over, but maybe I didn't. Yay! 
You are glorious. Okay, I'll do a flyover of all these when I'm done. So that one's done. All right, number four, number four. You still going on the video there? We're off center a little bit. You migrated, I didn't, I'm sorry. That's my new favorite color combo <laughs> this week. This week. So I've been working so much with commissions and swipes that I just haven't been doing blooms for the last couple months. And I gave all of my, all of my coasters away for Christmas um, to the nurses I work with. God bless them. Um... I thought they needed a little treat and I had an abundance of coasters to share. So one day I just brought a box of coasters in and they went over so well. So the next day I brought another box in and then the next day another box. Am I doing the right order here? Yes. Okay. Um, I saved like half a dozen for myself, my favorites that I wanted to keep and um, gave all the rest away. And uh, I got great reviews. People were very happy with them, which made me happy in return. It all worked out well. It was really good. Um, so now I get to make more to replenish my stock. Uh, it's cool. It's great. I love it. They're going to be like, oh, I wish I would have waited until I saw those. Those are amazing. Well, they got them for free, so they didn't have to pay for them. <laughs> But now if they want more, they know where to find me. Um, turquoise last year. So if I haven't mentioned, I am a nurse practitioner. I work in a hospital in Wisconsin. And I work with some of the best nurses I feel like I've ever worked with in my career. So shout out to them. They're amazing. Whoa, that was really wonky, but we're going to go with it. It's like when an Olympic snowboarder goes down the half pipe and forgets their trick. Uh, sequence. I just blew all over the place. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. So, we all make mistakes. Damn you. Sometimes those mistakes can be a blessing, and sometimes those mistakes can be a curse. Um, I'm missing my straw again. Is it under my shoe? No. Okay, where are you? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's pissing around. Woo! Awesome. Just trying to decide where I want to spin, if I want to spin anything off, how I want to do this. Um. Since it's wonky. Oh god, I just love this color combo. I don't know what it is. I do not know what it is. 
And then aside from the fact that I love purple and it makes an amazing purple, are you going to create a cell or not? Sometimes it doesn't want to do it. Fine. Oh, God. Okay, I can't even spin anymore because this side over here is just wicked cool. Okay, so I probably put more CA down than I needed to, and that was a wonky ass blow. Um, but she's still, she's still beautiful in her own way. Seek perfection is all very well. Does somebody know the rest of that quote? <gasps> this is so weird in here. I don't want to lose this. Do I live with the weirdness? I feel like yes. I could jack it up. I don't want to spin it out because I don't want to lose all this fabulous here. I'm just gonna live with that weirdness. So maybe I'll do something I've done before. Do I wanna embellish it and make it into something or not? We're just going to go with it. Okay, we're going to leave it. All right, just quick fly over. So I'm going to pull up my drawers here. So I'm digging it. Some real fun coasters with this cool color combo. And they are freaking fantastic. You can see that interference in there. So cool. So cool. There's a velvet TLP and um, look at the shadow there. Velvet TLP. The other interference is Indigo Wave. Oh, so cool. See like that gold from the side? So lovely.